Hello everyone and today as you have seen I have a book for you. I've decided that I will celebrate the thing that I managed to bring the human to this world and fill this cot. So to celebrate I decided to buy myself a book. <laughs> Why not? Let me show you which one. Depository, I'll let me to have affiliate link, so I'll leave link down below to uh, this book. However, if you go through that link and you buy any book you want to, they will send something my way. So thank you so much for uh, spoiling yourself with some books. And it doesn't matter what kind of book you're going to get. Right, I was tempted because uh, when you create an account on Book Depository, so after first maybe order, they ask you to fulfill, they'll ask you to create one or be a guest if you want to purchase something from their website. By the way, the world wild shipping is for free. They ask you if you want to get their newsletter and I said yes because uh, they notify you about the books that you have in your wish list if they are discounted or they will send you an email in regards to um, some discount codes. I know lately, I think there was Ireland 5, so I gave 5% off for the books in the con in Ireland. Otherwise, they sent a different, you know, they, they sent just a pile of um, countries and they'll give a discount codes. But um, so far, I think I have that for a year and I haven't had Ireland, so Ireland is the first one. I'm not sure it doesn't still apply, but if you're in Ireland, you may try. However, some of the books they discount 8%, 14%, 29%, 37%, and this one came up because I had it on my wish list. And actually, I may I'll leave you the link to my wish list because that's also accessible. So, in case your friends would want to um, buy a book for you, or at least they know what you don't have. So, I added some uh, children's books over that too. But uh, yeah, slowly, gradually, uh, I got, I think, one for our little one. Anyway, I always wanted to have at least one of Elizabeth Zimmerman's books and this is a brilliant one because this one, if I have to tell you uh, a few things about it, is um, created to have a project for each year. Uh, and obviously I straight away went to May, skipping all the first month and see what the project we have for May. And for May we have mittens and uh, we have a story. It's like a written down in the form of a letter to a friend um, that uh, this lady cast on uh, mittens and her thoughts while she's knitting. I live in the ruler area. So that was a tractor. Oh yeah. So she writes about a um, certain section that she's... Another tractor. <laughs> she's writing about uh, her casting in on method, about the different types of uh, mittens that she knows, about Norwegian mittens, um, and she compares some styles, some, she gives you some tips if something is too, find it too difficult to do, there's also way, always an option to do it. It's like writing a letter to a friend and meanwhile also in May you can read that she knitted those lovely mittens in her favorite fishing hole spot that she used to was occupied by other people although the land belongs to them and lately she can enjoy that place by herself so uh, a little bit of spoiler but I was thinking that this will be nice not too thick book that I can grab on every month and check it out and I'm thinking I might actually knit those mittens but more maybe not completely the way they are knitted of the here but there is a chart just letting you know so I can maybe see if I can do something with it extra because I think I don't remember what kind of yarn she used but I presume DK weight DK iron weight and maybe I'll go with a fingering weight uh, and I will just um, spice things up or add some stuff here and there. We shall see. But yeah, that's what I was thinking to do or to make. In January, we have an iron sweater. In February, some baby's things. In March, difficult sweater. Not really. In April, mystery blanket weaving. May, mittens for next winter. 
June, border small stuff for summer knitting three hats. July, a shawl, good travel knitting, one row buttonhole. August, Christmas fiddle fowl in the wilds. Uh, September, neither garments. October, open color, colored pullover. November, moccasin socks. December, hurry up, last minute sweater. So, check it out, this is the content. And the first thing she writes, to the unsure knitter, to the blind follower, and to all those who do not yet know that they can design their own knitting, this book is encouragingly dedicated. So, uh, this is her introduction, let's say that way, or something to write it down. And basically that's her style of writing, it's very user-friendly. <laughs> and she knits loads of stuff over here. And I believe that may not be the only book um, in the future that I'm going to own. I think she has more, uh, but so far so good. I'm going to go through this one and then slowly maybe get another one. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video and to the next one. Thank you.